Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of my merchanting series. In today's episode, we are starting with 122 mil cash, an in game time of 19 hours, and some of my previous achievements have been being able to afford an Easter egg, hitting the 100 mil cash mark, and being able to afford a red Halloween mask. So I hope you guys enjoy, and it's time to start. So you may be wondering why there's been a big gap between these two episodes, and one of the reasons is. Things like Bandos and Armadil, which I was making a really nice profit on, it wasn't as good for flipping anymore. And when you'd be making like 2 mil in maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and then you're not able to do that anymore, it's, it's kind of a bit of a, a loss of motivation to do it. And there has been that aspect of it, you know, not being able to log on and make 2 mil profit is kind of make me feel, well, I'll not bother logging in. And the other reason is. I've tried to do a different style of merchanting because of that and that style it can either work or you know you can make nothing for a couple of days and in most cases you know I've made a decent profit but there has been times where nothing is bought for two to three days and I'll explain that later in the video but to start you can see some of the first flips I did which was the Easter egg and I wanted to start with rares just as a bit of a mess around really, see if I could make any decent profit with them. And you can see from that easter egg, I was able to make about 850k profit. So just a bit short of a mil. And then I tried repeating it as rares have a limit of 2. And on the second tab, I did make quite a bit more because easter eggs just decided to rise whilst I owned one. And you can see in this screenshot which I just copied together both of my history transactions. And you can see the first easter egg I did which you just saw made me just below a 1 mil profit and then the second easter egg I managed to sell it for an extra 1 mil like I said I don't really know why it rose like that possibly just no supply at that time but I saw it had rose, I sold it for more and I managed to get a, a really nice profit on it one of the other items that I decided to do was fish masks and I chose these because I've seen a lot of people on the forums claim that they have made quite a lot of profit from them and whether or not that's just flipping them or investing in them as they've risen, I wasn't entirely sure, but I figured I may as well give them a go. I probably flipped about 30 to 50 of them over the course of about 10 days, and I've only got this screenshot up because it's a really typical trade that I did with them. And I'll explain this now, because the way I did fish masks was I would go on the forums, I would check the price, and if the price was about 6.4 mil, I would offer like 6.2 mil as you can see in the screenshot. I put an offer in for four of them for 6.2 mil each and I would let them buy overnight. So I would put the offer in, go to bed, when I woke up I would see if they'd bought and then I would put them in at a slightly higher price or you know, I would check the price first and then put them in at a price relevant to that. And it was just pretty much overnight sales with fish masks and I was making about 1 mil profit overnight every day and it doesn't sound like much but it's 1 mil whilst I was sleeping for pretty much no effort and if you were doing them a lot more actively you were doing them during the day as well you could quite easily make 2 to 3 mil a day for what is a small amount of money the only problem is they were quite heavily invested and they do rise and drop in price quite a lot so you'd never want to be caught out by that and buy them high and then have them drop on you. But apart from that, they're quite a nice item which I'll probably do a bit more in the future. And probably just have have them as one of those items that I have in my spare grand exchange slots if I have a spare bit of money. Now I've got my final screenshot of a discontinued item which I flipped during this episode. And I did do others such as the Halloween masks and even the disc of returning. Although the profits on them I didn't really make too much on because I'm not spending a lot of time on this account and for that reason I want to have buy and sell offers which I know for definite will have sold or have bought and I've always found Halloween masks to be a bit temperamental so I've always just kind of sacrificed a bit of profit to ensure that they sell and Santa hats I think they're a nicer flip there's a lot more people doing them and in this flip you can see I made myself just under 500k profit and I was doing Santa hats occasionally when I was watching the rares market and making sure that I wouldn't lose money on them and Santa hats they were quite a nice flip but it's a shame that they're only about 0.5% profit 
and the 500k profit, just to put it into perspective, is about as much as I was making on a Bando's chest plate maybe three or four weeks ago. Now we come to the items which have made me the most amount of profit over the last few weeks. And you can see on screen now that Furtis Robe Tops, they were making me quite a decent amount of money. And there were other items, but mostly Virtus, which I was doing just because it was an affordable item. You could have done this with any of the items like Torva or Pernix, but obviously I didn't really have the cash to afford a Pernix body or a Torva plate, so I was kind of limited to, to pick Virtus, and that was the reason why I did it. Not because it was any better than any of the other items, but you can see that I managed to buy and sell a Virtus robe top and get about 3.3 mil profit whilst I did it. And that's not because that they have a 3.3 mil margin. If they did, I would be a lot richer right now. They don't. It was because I managed to get what would be considered a lucky buy in the case of a lowball offer. And I can explain lowballing and I guess highballing and you know what they are and, and how to do them in an episode of 6.5. If you guys would like that, you know, let me know in the comments if you would. But otherwise, you know, I had these low offers which occasionally filled. And this is the reason why it's been a while since my last episode. Because they don't always fill. You know, you could leave an offering for a Santa hat at 10 mil and it would never fill. But if you leave it in at something more reasonable, like 3 mil below its med price, then it's got a better chance of filling. And when you do that with Virtus, you can see that it mine just happened to fill. I made myself like 3 mil profit. And I was doing this maybe every other day getting a lucky trade like this and it wasn't just on the Virtus Robe Tops which I was doing it with so I managed to get the cash to be able to afford a Virtus set and you can see that I managed to buy the mask and the Robe Top which at the time were low ball offers and the Virtus Robe Legs I had bought earlier in the day or overnight or something and I had put them into sell and I have lost that screenshot of them buying so I apologise about that but you can kind of trust me on good faith, I guess, that I managed to make myself about 2.5 mil profit, I think, on those robe legs. I've got a feeling I offered 62.22 for them. So I made myself about 2.5 mil on the robe legs. And the rest of the Virtus, I managed to sell for 500k profit and a 3 mil profit. So all of that together, I had 500k, 3 mil, 2.5 mil. So I got myself about 6 mil profit from flipping that one Virtus set, which is really quite a nice profit obviously it was three items so it wasn't like six mil in one item flip but it's all the same kind of item in that respect and it's really nice knowing that i was able to make quite a lot of money from these low ball offers which you know i would spend maybe two minutes logging into offer and then by the end of the day you know there was a chance that at least one of them had filled and i did get really lucky this day in the sense that all of the set had both bought and sold and that's the reason why I've put this screenshot in because it's the best that I had and you know flipping some stable things like the fish masks adding a few things in like the easter eggs which were making a decent profit when I was paying a bit more attention and then putting my cash into low ball offers such as the Virtus sets or the Virtus pieces overnight it was giving me quite a nice steady and sometimes increased amount of profit that I was making and it's made me a decent amount of profit over the last few weeks. So just to end we can see my in-game time and my cash pile and you can see on screen now my cash pile is 177 mil so that means I've made about 55 mil over the last two weeks or so however long it's been since the last episode and my in-game time is now 23 hours which means I've only played about four hours since my last episode and I've managed to make myself 55 mil and that is just because of the type of merch that I'd be doing like I've said I would literally spend two minutes making the offer and then if it bought I'd make myself like three mil from it so 23 hours 177 mil that puts me at about 7.7 .7 mil per hour and 23 hours it's, it's practically almost at the entire day mark so 177 mil in a day of real life you know whether or not that's good i'll let you be the judge of that in the comments but i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next episode